Hey guys, it's Chris here, and welcome back to Chris's Gaming Channel. Today we will be continue playing uh, Undertale, and we are going to go to Unknown's house, waterfall. Yes. Then we're off. In the previous video, we uh, met off with some beta Metaton and we did Undyne and saved her from from being hot. Why they know you're listening to me, and I wasn't able to read that text, but let's just move on. Well, here I am. I'm gonna turn up the volume. Come again sometime. Tra la la. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go to Nine's house. There's fires. What? 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 It's a living... Dummy. Oh ho, human arrives. Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Can you hang out? Yes or no? I'm gonna go for yes. Okay, stand behind me. Do you think of a virus? Psst. Make sure to give her this. She loves this. Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one on one training? You bet I am. And I brought a friend. Hi, I don't think we've. She knows. Why don't you two come in? She knows who I am. Here, Undyne. My friend brought a gift for you on their own. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, uh, Put it with the others. So are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie. I just remembered. I have to go to the bat for you to have fun. Yeah, of course. So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? No. Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right. Really? How delightful! I accept. Let's all frolic in the fields, French. Not! Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Yeah. Dang, what a shame. I thought Linda could be friends with you. But I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? The virus? Wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you. <laughs> what a joke. I can make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. I'll make you like me so much. You won't be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> it's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? Sure. Is it on in progress? Yes. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. Okay. I'll sit. What would you like? Hey, don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. Jigger goes and teeth like the I like to know. It's not a sickly, sickly yellow liquid. Hot chocolate green slither. Tea box. Lightly choice. Tea, huh? Coming right up. It will take a moment for the water to boil. Okay. Okay, it's all done.
Here we are. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot. Just drink it already. You take a sip of the tea. It's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Okay. Hey. You know, it's kind of strange you could you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. We're both totally we you're both you're both total weenies. Sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot head kid. Once to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't explain a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? So I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad, but he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me, and now I'm the head of the Royal Guard, so I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak, he's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's he's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you, and he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into a little smiling into little smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook. You know, so um maybe he can do something else with his life. Okay. Oh, sorry. I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Okay. Wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now. And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him. Okay. That's right. Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking, which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine. <laughs> Afraid, we're gonna be best friends. Okay. What the? Okay, she just grabbed the head. Let's start with, let's start with the sauce. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fingers. Oh, you found it. Strong. You punch the vegetables at full force. Knock over a tomato. Of course. Saw that. Yeah, yeah. Our hearts are uniting against these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn. Yeah! Oh my god, my face. Uh, I'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now... We add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. If I just buy store brand, they're the cheapest. Yeah. Uh, just put them into the pot. How do you put them in? Seriously, careful. You place them in one. At you place them both in one at a time. They clink against the empty bottom. Nice. All right. Now it's time to stir the pot. As a general rule of thumb. The more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Rizzy, stir. Harder! Ugh, let me do it. You're crushing it. <laughs> That's the stuff. Alright, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stove top symbol symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. I'm holding it. 
father. Let's go to a uh, the fire, father, John. Father. Wait, that's two. Hot. Yep, it's on fire. Ah, uh, man, no wonder my power sucks at cooking. A mouse. So what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, but some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. Shoot. I've been defeated. My house is in champ. Even I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final damage all out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you've got. Yeah! I'm just letting you make the first attack. And then I check. Attack Undyne Tech 41 defense for this time. Don't hold me back. Show me what you've got. Despair. Do your do your worst. Okay, sorry. Thing. Make attack. Do it. You pretend to swing at Undyne with all your might. One damage. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can muster any intent to hurt me. Uh, you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid s I can't even read it, it says, so let I can't even say it properly, so let's move on. Sick a tick, but... The way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here and I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if you don't hurt Asgore, I'll take your human souls, cross the barrier out of you. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now let's get the heck now let's get the heck out of this flaming house. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again. We'll have to hang out again other t another time, but uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang with the pirates. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need my help, just give the pirates a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk to you. Well, see you later, punk. I'll see you later too, Undyne. Wait, let me check it. Sounds like the only sounds like only fire lives here now. Of course, now the fire is taking over Undyne's house. Wait, why am I going this way? Tra la la, care for a ride? Ride in the boat? Yes. Where will you go today? Hotland. Then we're off. And of course, the boat has legs again. Tra la la. I heard Asgore has a favorite food. Okay. Come again sometime. Tra la la. We're back in Outland. Seeing. Okay. So, guys. That's going to be it for today's uh, episode of Undertale. You know it was a short video, but that's it. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And I'm going to be doing more of it later next time. See ya!